In Yosemite with John Muir by Theodore Roosevelt. When I first visited California, it was my good fortune to see the big trees, the sequoias, and then to travel down into the Yosemite with John Muir. Of course, of all people in the world, he was the one with whom it was best worthwhile thus to see the Yosemite. He told me that when Emerson came to California, he tried to get him to come out and camp with him, for that was the only way in which to see, at their best, the majesty and charm of the Sierras. But at the time, Emerson was getting old and could not go. John Muir met me with a couple of packers and two mules to carry our tent, bedding, and food for three days' trip. The first night was clear, and we lay down in the darkening aisles of the great sequoia grove. The majestic trunks, beautiful in color and in symmetry, rose round us like the pillar of a mightier cathedral than ever was conceived. Hermit thrushes sang beautifully in the evening, and again with a burst of wonderful music at dawn. I was interested and a little surprised to find that, unlike John Burroughs, John Muir cared little for birds or bird songs, and I knew little about them. The hermit thrushes meant nothing to him, the trees and the flowers and the cliffs, everything. The only birds he noticed or cared for were some that were very conspicuous, such as the water oozels, always particular favorites of mine, too. The second night, we camped in a snowstorm on the edge of the canyon walls, under the spreading limbs of a grove of a mighty silver fir, and next day we went down into the wonderland of the valley itself. I shall always be glad that I was in Yosemite with John Muir and in the Yellowstone with John Burroughs. 1. Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, a famous American writer and thinker. 2. John Burroughs, a famous American writer who studied and wrote about nature.